I was raised in an environment that the mindset piece was given to me. That was the greatest gift I could have been given. I was not taught to sell. My dad's not a salesman. I was in an environment where my mindset was cultivated, where it's like, if that person can do it, you sure can. And I always say the same thing to you guys. I'm like, hey, if I can do $100,000 a month, why can't you? Are you not human? Is your blood not red? If somebody's accomplished something, that means it's possible. And so I want to talk about the five mindset shifts that I had to make in order to go from side hustle, half pregnant, toe in the water, dabble, hobby to making this a for real thing. And I'm talking about making seven figures. Number one, you need to expand your vision. Stop being half pregnant. Stop dabbling. Okay. And by the way, if this is you, I'm going to take the chance to apologize to absolutely no one. I don't care if I offend you, but how many of you guys have the buddy who's like a CPA during the day at like come tax, like first of the year, February, they start dropping a post on LinkedIn or they stop dropping posts on Instagram. And it's like, Hey, I have this little side business where I'm doing tax returns. Hit me up if you need help. How many people have buddies like that? I have like four. Guess which buddies I do not call to do my taxes. Those ones. Why? because they're dabbling. They're dabbling and it's a side thing. Just, I can tell they're just trying to make a buck. They don't do this for real. They're trying to make a paycheck at their job and they're trying to make a paycheck after hours and they don't give a shit. I know four or five people like that and I know you probably do too. I will never give those people a dollar of my money. If you think these business owners, you think they're stupid. They may not know how to use their iPhones, but these are humans. They can tell. These people can tell when this is like you just started and this is a little hobby gig. I promise you they can tell. And until you start treating this as like, I'm going to do this for real, your customers are not going to take you seriously. Number two, getting to 100K takes the same amount of work as getting to 20K. And some of you guys are like, like, how is that possible? Like, obviously not. No, guys, I'm telling you right now. In fact, I would actually argue that getting to a hundred might even be easier than getting to 20. And like, well, how does that even make sense? In August of 2021, I literally set out and I was like, I'm going to do a 90 day sprint and bring on some ungodly amount of money. And in August, I brought on $24,000 of new deals under contract, not existing, not like new business of $24,000 in one month. And guess what? Hitting the 24K, I exerted less energy hitting 24K per month than I did the 10K. Promise you, I just thought differently. Number three, focus on the same sales part of this business and stop getting so hung up on the minutia of the technical backlinking and content and website building and WordPress and hosting and this and that and freaking all this shit that doesn't matter. You have to have that shift of the sales part is what matters. And I want you to actually think about all the people you know in this space. And I want you to ask yourself, are those people that are making the most amount of money in rank and rent, the most technical backlink this, blog this, no, they're not. They're the ones that are good at getting the deal. They're the ones that are good at selling it. So you have to have this shift from quit thinking that just because you know backlinks inside and out, backwards and forwards, and you can flip up a WordPress site in two seconds, that isn't going to make you money. You got to get out of that mindset and you got to realize until you focus and you have a radical focus on the sales aspect and that becomes the priority, you're never going to get to seven figures because it's way easier. And all of you that have tried this know what I'm talking about. It is way easier to go find people to do the technical side. There's people lined up for days and good luck finding somebody that can do sales because all the good people doing sales, they're already doing other shit. They probably have their own business making their own shit or selling their own stuff. Number four, you can't do this alone. It's, you need to master then outsource every piece of this process. And the last thing you're going to outsource is the sales. If you think you're going to do it alone, you're probably going to get to 15K and want to blow your brains out. Just saying. I'll identify the stuff that's taking the most time, master it, systematize it, outsource it and hold the sales piece closest to your chest and get rid of that last because that's what drives the business forward. So here's what I did. First thing that was taking all my time was content. I got really good at it. I created a, a system of how to teach it, how I was going to bring people on, how I was going to like, okay, here's an assignment, whatever. And I outsourced the content. Number five, if you do not have a sales process, you do not have a business. If you do not have a process where you can wake up tomorrow and do X, Y, Z, and you can get a deal as a result, you do not have a business. How are you going to hit goals? How are you going to hit benchmarks? How are you going to scale? How are you going to go and get clients? Guys, in 2019, and this is where I was at. I would set these goals and I was like, and I didn't have a process. We had all these different moving pieces and nothing worked. Nothing was something that we could count on. And so in 2020, I was like, I am going to figure out flat fee, number one, and I'm getting rid of SEO and I have got to develop a sales process so that if I want to hit 50K in a single month, yeah, it's going to take work. Yeah, it's going to take some infrastructure. Yeah, it's going to take some people, but I have a process that if I do this, 
this is going to happen. You don't have to use my sales process. You don't. You can do another sales process. I don't care. But if you do not have a sales process and you do not know where your customer is coming from tomorrow, you don't have a business. Does my process allow you to go fast? Yes. Does my process allow you to use other people's money? Yes. Does my process, is it tried and true and it fucking works? Yes. But you don't need to use mine. You just need to have a mindset shift that until you have a sales process, you're not going to hit 100K.